Super Meat Boy is my favorite hardcore precision platformer of all time. However, I've never played its sequel, Super Meat Boy Forever. Now it has finally arrived on mobile, and I want to share my thoughts on the mobile port with you all. Don't forget to leave a like, pop a sub, and comment because it really helps me out, and let's get right into it. The art style and sound design of Super Meat Boy Forever is exactly like the original. It has so much personality and charm, and if you loved the humor of the first game, this game is no different. First and foremost, Super Meat Boy Forever is an auto runner of sorts, where you will automatically run to the right side of the screen, and then you can jump off of walls and obstacles in order to start moving to the left side of the screen but the goal is to always be moving forward to the finish line or the end of the level. This is obviously very different from the first Super Meat Boy because of this auto running change. However, I was quite surprised with how similar it does feel at the end of the day to the first Super Meat Boy game, which is fantastic. It's different, but not too different. Super Meat Boy Forever is divided into worlds, and worlds are divided into levels, and at the end of each world, there is a boss that you must defeat in order to progress to the next one. However, what makes this truly unique is there is a random seed generator every time you start a new game, and this randomly generates levels and worlds within your game, and that means every single time you start a new game, you will have a new experience every single time, which I thought was really cool because these levels actually feel handcrafted despite this random generation. Super Meat Boy Forever is just as hard as the first Super Meat Boy. You need to be precise with your jumps and your actions, and timing is key, and you will die so many times. Levels consist of numerous traps, enemies, and collectibles, and you are timed during every level too. So you need to memorize the best way to play through each level. You will die so many times, and once you end a level, you are able to perfect it the next time if you want to replay it. So you can get a shorter time or get all of the collectibles or both. What really impressed me were the new mechanics that the game would throw in as you progress through these levels, such as a black substance, and as you're touching it, if you touch it for too long, you will die and you'll have to start over with the level. And it's a subtle change, but mechanics like this kept the game feeling fresh. Boss fights were also a highlight for me. They were very imaginative with how you have to take them down, and I always looked forward to what the next boss would be, but yes, they are tough as nails and expect to get stuck on them for a while. The controls of Super Meat Boy Forever are very simple. You tap the right side of the screen in order to jump, and then you can tap and hold in order to jump longer or higher, and then you can tap again mid-jump in order to punch to punch your way through enemies. Now the left side of the screen, you tap on that in order to slide, and you tap and hold to hold that slide. And then you tap again mid-slide in order to punch through enemies, and that's literally it. And it sounds complicated, but it's very simple, it feels completely natural, and I've had no gripes with the controls whatsoever. There is even an option in order to flip the sides in case you're left-handed. The monetization of this game completely blew me away. Now this is a premium experience for only 99 cents and you get everything this game has to offer. This is the cheapest way to play this game in comparison to any other platform. Man, does it remind me of the good old days when you could get Angry Birds for 99 cents and stuff like that. This is a steal. Super Meat Boy Forever is an extremely challenging but rewarding precision platformer that harkens to the first game while also doing a few things differently, and it feels perfect for mobile because it was originally designed with mobile in mind, and I'm glad it's finally here for only 99 cents. It offers so much replayability and gameplay in general with its randomly generated levels and worlds, and you can perfect each and every level to your liking. It is so much fun. It's a must buy in my opinion. The link to the game is in the description down below. All right guys, that was my review for Super Meat Boy Forever. If it helped you out, please leave a like, pop a sub and comment down below. It helps me out so much and I appreciate the support. I love you guys. I hope you guys are staying safe and take it easy.